Okay, we have here the integral of secant cubed x dx. And I wanted to kind of use an alternative method on this. I had an idea sent to me by Mike of an unusual substitution that I don't think I've tried before that works well on secant integrals, not necessarily secant cubed, just even if you just had just secant or secant to a larger power. The substitution is going to be tan x equal to cinch of y. It's pretty nice because there's a lot of scenarios where the hyperbolic trig functions actually are easier than the regular ones. And secant can be kind of a pain. So, so I think this is going to help us out or at least give us a nice alternative. So to start with, one thing we can do on this, we know we have this identity relating tangent to secant. So because you might be wondering why are we substituting tangent when we have secant. But we have tan squared of x plus 1 is equal to secant squared x. And so if we just take a square root, if we just take a square root on both sides, we can get a value for secant, just square root of tan squared x plus one. And then using cinch of y for tan x, we can take, we can plug that in and we can write secant x as square root of now cinch squared y plus one. But cinch squared y plus one, we've got an identity for that, that's cosh squared of y. But inside the square root, you could write it as absolute value of cosh y. But the thing about that is cosh is actually always positive, so we don't really need this. Well, we definitely don't need this. So we have this expression for secant x that we can use. Now, one more thing before we substitute. Let's actually, we need our derivative. We're going to need our dx value. So we'll take a derivative, I guess. Should we do it here or here? So we need our dx value. Let's take it of the first value. So what we're going to get is secant squared x dx derivative of this is going to be just cosh y dy and should i solve for dx or dy i don't think it really matters so let's let's do dx we'll solve for dx we'll have this as cosh y dy over secant squared we'll divide by secant squared on both sides but secant we can express as cosh so i can write this as cosh squared y so cleaning this all up what we're going to have is dx equal to one over cosh y dy. So I don't think we need a lot of this, but let me box the stuff that I do think we need, right? Maybe we need this first one. I can't remember. Let's just go ahead and see what happens. So first for secant, we'll use this right here. So I'll write this as cosh cubed of y. Then our dx is going to be this thing, one over cosh y dy. But then I can cancel one of these with one of these and we're left with, this is gonna become cosh squared y. For this, I can just use the identity. It's the same as the regular, it's the same as the regular cosine identity. So it's gonna be, here I'll have one half in front, one plus cosh two y dy. We'll go ahead and integrate. What's gonna happen? We're gonna have one half in front. This is just gonna be a y. This is gonna be cinch of two y, but we need to bring a half out. Now from here, let's get our y value just using this first equation. I don't think we need any of this. Let me make a little space. Here, if I just take cinch inverse on both sides, we end up with y equal to cinch inverse tan x. And then actually before I back substitute, let's get this out of 2y. We'll use an identity. This is gonna be the same thing as the double angle for cinch, which is gonna be which means I can rewrite this as two cinch y cosh y. But then what that allows me to do is I can cancel twos out right here. And then now to back substitute, I think I have everything we need. We've got y, we have cinch y, and we have cosh y. So let me see if I can go up here with my solution. We're gonna have one half in front. Then for our y value, we have this inverse cinch tan x plus cinch y cosh y, which is gonna be here, tan x plus secant x. Now for this, we can actually just put a plus c on it and call it good, but you might be wondering what's going on with this right here? Because secant cubed is a well-known integral, the formula doesn't quite line up with this. The thing is with cinch, we have a formula for this. We can write inverse cinch as just natural log of x plus square root x squared plus one. So if we rewrite it using this formula, what's gonna happen? Now we have here is going to be one half times natural log. X is going to be tan X. So we have tan X plus one over 
plus square root of tan squared plus one, but tan squared plus one is gonna be secant squared inside the square root. So this is just gonna give me a plus secant x plus tan x secant x parentheses add a plus c and that's it. Okay, so there you go. Integral of secant cubed with a substitution, no integration by parts. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.